Yo, what's up, guys? Man, welcome back to the Gospel Drummer React, guys. I'm KB, the Gospel Drummer, and I am back with another awesome reaction video. This time it's a request. Hey, shout out to the guy Robert Dawson for this request, guys. He requested that I check out Mitch Mitchell of Jimi Hendrix. Now, look. We already know Jimi Hendrix was the guitar god of his time. So if Jimi Hendrix entrusted Mitch Mitchell on the drum set to carry the beat to hold down the foundation of the band, we gotta know Mitch is a beast. I don't know much about his playing, guys. I've heard, you know, his playing on the Jimmy records and they were cool, but I don't honestly know much about his playing. I don't know his background, something like that. So I'm very interested, man. Thank you for this request. I'm ready to get into it, guys, because look, look, if Jimmy entrusted him, that's all I gotta say. If he was like, yo, you my drummer. You gotta be dope, bro. You got you got to be dope. So guys, let's get into this video. Let's go. All right, guys, let's get into this, man. I'm ready to experience the magic of Mitch Mitchell. Let's go, guys. <laughs> let me go ahead and stop it right here let me stop it right here and go ahead and say this like i'm noticing a lot of drummers of that era they really do have jazz influences maybe everybody was playing jazz before they got into the genre that they're pop they're known for but you definitely hear the jazz phrasing man just the jazz phrasing like he was clearly playing some art blakely bro like I heard that, and I heard some Buddy Rich type of stuff going on with that, with them doubles, with the singles. It's like he he's definitely been in his jazz bag, bro. For real, this is awesome. I like his swag, bro. I like what I like the clothes he got on. Got the uh, nice the haircut and stuff, man. Okay, I see you, Mitch. I see you, bro. He probably had all the ladies. I'm sure. I'm sure. All right, man. I'm liking this. I really am digging this. Let's keep going. <laughs> Okay. All right. I, I think that's the end of that solo right there. That was a pretty short solo, but okay. Okay. We saw the greatness of Mitch and that solo. Let me stop this. 
that was awesome man that was really awesome i like like i said like i said with uh john bonham man bro it's like they all have this jazz influence you can hear it in their playing the way they tune their drums you know what i'm saying even the symbols that they're using they're using the big symbols i always know that's been a rock thing you know what i'm saying like i've studied drums and i play drums professionally so i know like in that genre you have big symbols anyway they have the big toms going on i think he had I don't think he had a 10. I think he probably had 12s going down. Maybe he had a 10. I didn't I didn't really look at it that much, but I think he was using Love Wig. That was the drum sound, the drum company of that era. Man, that was awesome. I was really impressed. Like, I see why Jimmy interested him. I really do, man. Hey guys, thank you. Thank you for the request. That was awesome to see, man. I really enjoyed that. I really did. Hey, guys, I'm KB, the Gospel Drummer. If this is your first time checking out my material because you clicked on this video of me reacting to Mitch Mitchell, then hit that subscribe button because I have awesome comment on the channel. Go check it out, man. Go binge watch some of my videos. I do react to some nice real unique drummers you know what i'm saying like i i really like drums i'm a drummer been doing this for over 12 years professionally so yeah i i dig the art form i really do dig the art form and also if you have a dope drummer that you think i should be checking out they they do drum uh solos or whatever man just leave something in the comment section let me know i'll check it out hey thank you again for checking out the content I am KB, the Gospel Drummer, and I am out.